Hey guys, Supervisorly here. And in this video, I would like to show you how to connect your computer to our platform on Windows operating system using WSL. But before we do that, I would like to tell you why would you want to perform this procedure yourself in the first place. So as you may know, we have lots and lots of applications in our ecosystem. And some of these applications are demanding computing power in order to work. Most of these applications are neural networks. And in order to use them, we need to provide them with computing power. That's what we need the agent for. So let's start. All right, so as I have already mentioned, the reason why we need to connect the computer to the platform is to provide computing power to the applications. And the most computing power from a computer comes from its GPU device. And that leads me to the first prerequisite that we need to do. We need to install our GPU drivers. I will leave a link in the description to this NVIDIA page where you can find your own graphics card and install drivers for it. The second prerequisite that we need to do is to enable WSL feature in our Windows. So let's head to the search bar and here we can type turn and there we have what we need. Turn Windows features are on off. Let's go there and we need to go to the bottom of it. And here we have Windows subsystem for Linux setting. We need to check this box, press OK and restart our computer. I already done that, but you would want to do this. OK, next thing we need to do is to install the Linux itself. OK, so let's go to the Start Windows button. Here we can go to the Microsoft Store. And here in the search bar we can type Ubuntu. And here are some Ubuntu distributions. I use this one. So if you don't have an Ubuntu terminal, go ahead and install it. Also, I recommend using this application, which also comes from a Microsoft Store. It's called Windows Terminal. Uh, here we have it. It is not required to have, but I recommend installing it because it makes uh, using the terminal more convenient. Next, we need to head into our terminal. You can either uh, go into the search bar and type Ubuntu and launch it from here. Or you can open the Windows Terminal application and open a new tab and here you will have Ubuntu. So now we need to install some prerequisites from NVIDIA. I will leave a link in the description to those two pages where you can find information on how to install them. It's, it's just a couple of commands that you will need to run in your terminal. And that's it for the prerequisites. Next thing we need to do is to set up our Docker. If you don't have a Docker installed onto your device, I will leave a link in the description to the Docker website where you can install Docker Desktop. Let's launch it. So now we need to head to the settings page and go to the resources, WSL integration. And here you will need to check this box and turn the slider to the right. Then you will need to click apply and restart. I already have done that. Uh, next, we need to go to the Docker engine tab. And in our developer portal, we can head into the Docker desktop chapter. And uh, here we will have some lines of code that we need to paste into our Docker engine. So you can just press a copy button, go and head in here, press Ctrl A and Ctrl V and it will replace whatever you have there by default. And you can click apply and restart. This procedure is needed to prevent most of the issues that you can face when working with Docker. So that's it for the Docker setup. Last thing we need to do is to verify that Docker actually works and sees our graphics card and is able to use it. So let's go to the developer portal 
And here in the install NVIDIA container toolkit chapter, you can find this command. Let's copy it and let's paste it into our terminal. Press run. Let's type our sudo password. And if you see this window with all the information about your graphics card and all of that, that means that all of our setup is successful. Now, the next step is going to be to actually connect the supervisory agent. So let's go to the supervisory platform, go to the start menu, go to the team cluster page. And here you have the list of all the agents that are available to you. Uh, let's press add button, select the supervisory agent. And here it is really important. We need to go to the advanced settings and check the use NVIDIA runtime setting. If you won't do that, you won't be able to use your GPU in the platform. And lastly, I would want to rename my agent. You can click on this small pencil and type the name of your agent. Let's click rename. And now the only thing that we need to do is to copy this command and paste it into our terminal. Here we see some logs. And if we go to the team cluster page, we can refresh it. And now we can see that my agent called R6490 is running. Also, you could perform some procedures with your agent as you can share it with a specific team or all teams, or you can edit its name and all of that. And if you don't need your agent anymore, you can archive it and it will disable it. So that's it for today. If you have found this tutorial helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. And if you have some questions left, please leave them in the comments. So thank you for watching and see you in the next one.